Hey everyone, so I want to go over a technique that I've been using this year to try to bypass the students not having access to YouTube. Um, of course, sometimes we'll either make our own movies or we'll find awesome movies and we want to share them with the kids, but it's on YouTube and because of the filtering software, it's not allowed. So I found the workaround using Google Drive. Um, what we're going to need to do is you're going to need to save the video as a .mov file uh, most screencasts from QuickTime have that option. If you do use KeepVid, there is usually an option to do that as well. And what you need to do is you need to go through the upload process and upload your video. Um, as you can see here, I have a bunch. I have one that's an M4V, which is no good. Remember, .mov. Now, when I open up my video, it automatically converts into a playable format that is very, very similar to YouTube. Very similar. Um, the kids are familiar with it, the kids know what to do, there's not a lot of questions. The difference, it's hosted through Google, not through YouTube. So if you do want to share a video with students this way, the last thing that we have to do is we have to click on share. And you have some options there once you go to change. Mine's a little bit more limited because this is my personal account, but if you're at your school site, you will have um, people at your school and people at your school with a link. I did anyone with the link so way anyone can see it. If you do choose people at the school or people at the school with the link, they will need to log into their email in order to see it. So just keep that in mind. If you just want to make it public where anyone can watch it, anyone with the link. You hit save and now from here you have a link that you can share with someone. If you email this to someone or if you write it down, it's pretty long to write down, but if you did write it down, they can plug that into their web browser and access your video. You also have the sharing features down here just like we normally do with documents. Type in an email address and hit share. Uh, one last thing on that that's been pretty cool and pretty fun is if you go up to file you have the option to number one prevent users from downloading or prevent viewers from downloading. Download the video yourself so if you happen to lose the file on your computer and you have a backup in your Google Drive it's there. And the one that's been a big one for me is embedding the video. If you do have the option on a website to embed objects, um, you can copy and paste this HTML code and then it will plug itself right into your blog, website, um, whatever you're working on. And people can watch it just like it was on YouTube. So if you have any questions on that, let me know. It is still something I'm trying to get a little bit better at. And yeah, good luck. Hope it helps.